Welcome to Rhinos and Aliens. I gotta get all close and personal for y'all. Hold on, maybe the oh wait. This actually This oh. is bussin' bussin'. Maybe we need like the maybe we need like the thing to go around or something, you know? Cause this is Well that would explain. This is bussin' bussin'. Why they have circular ones. Ah. Oh, ah, cause this is uh, this is working. Okay, so we're we're going to do the whole episode. Nope, like not at all. <laughs> 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 not at all. What's going on, guys? You know it. You know why? Cause of bitches. Cause we got new motherfucking mics. New mic check in the house. I mean, we still doing some some testings with this. We still gotta <laughs> adjust. We're we're used to the, our old mic, so we we gotta get used to this shit. We 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 starting to get fancy, you know. We we've been down in the dumps and the brokenness for a while. Now we got bougie. It's it's still getting some used to. <laughs> Bro, I was holding it in because you were making me laugh so much. I was <laughs> I was like, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> So we're just gonna let him sip. Mm. Oh. Thanks, warm water. Come okay, on. this is just <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Writers and Alien Show. This is episode one fifty three. It is me, the Don Dada. As you can see in front of me, I have Nature Boy. Nature Boy. And I want to thank you for tapping in to the number one podcast in Western New York. What, what? In the butt. <laughs> oh, my. Come <laughs> on, brother from another mother. You already know. You already know. Well, before and, and by the way, if you guys just want to know what mm-hmm. we know, we were just watching a booty video where the guy El said, Mugnino? what? In <laughs> <laughs> <El> Muñeño? <laughs> Me mucho, mi menio? <laughs> but but what was the last video we saw? It says something about like raw in the booty or something like that. Yeah, it, it was some song. I don't know exactly, but it was a weird song. He <laughs> said <laughs> something about licking booty holes. Oh yes, it was, yes, yes. I don't know. It was weird, guys. But to be fair, would you ever lick a booty hole with plastic over it? Like that almost defeats the purpose. Um, it's like wrapping your food, and then. Leaving it for leftovers. No? No? All (laughs) right. (laughs) But, guys, before we get in tuned in this video, make sure you guys go ahead and tap in real quick and do this three or four easy (laughs) steps, you know? So, number one, make sure you guys like this video. Number two, go ahead and subscribe. And three, go ahead and uh, hit that bell. Ring, ding, 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 ding. But also, guys, go ahead and tap into Locals.com. It should be in the description. You guys can go ahead and tap in and listen or follow us on Locals, where we give you the Locals exclusive for Rhinos and Aliens. It's our swarm and crash type of thing. Mm, Crash and swarm. We just... Yeah. That. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but but you also <laughs> but also you guys can <laughs> but also you guys can go ahead and tap in and give us coins also to help us financially and you know help us give you guys better content. Yes. Yes. And and I just want to say whatever you guys just saw and witnessed, right? Just imagine that nut. That is so good. It's almost as if you're stopping in time just to hit, then... just to do the oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just to do the oh. Sorry guys, he's getting over a sickness. So you probably gonna hear a lot of coughing. Yeah. So just bear with us. I'm week. gonna do my best to time it when you're not talking, so then I could edit it out. So you're just gonna see me making some weird movements with no noise. Not me, because I can see it, but you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he can hear, but then you guys are just mm-hmm. probably you'll probably hear, you probably won't. You're here half of it, because I won't be able to perfectly time it, but yeah. I do my best. We shall do our best. And by the way, we're getting a hang of these mics now. Just a little bit. Um, 
it's going to it's a process. It's definitely a process. We're just going to trust it. Yeah, yeah. So as Danielle somewhat mentioned earlier, if the if this episode in the next few is not consistent, not up to par as we as it usually is. Yes, because you got short. Yeah, but now to, we're now we're eye level. Yeah, I had to adjust with the mic. Mm. You mm. know, so I wouldn't have to grab it and you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to. <laughs> I was about to say, that's what she said because any woman who is a professional at giving the best BJ's knows the dick doesn't adapt to you. You adapt to the dick. Mm. Mm. Take lessons, you whores. <laughs> I'm sorry, females. I apologize. So, bro, what's up? It feels like we haven't recorded in three fucking weeks. It feels like it, but you you've been up to par on the uploadings, you know. You've been you've been doing your thug dizzle. Thank you. You've noticed. So uh, I need you guys to notice and actually tap in and watch some <laughs> damn videos, <laughs> and make sure you guys go ahead and like subscribe and like the goddamn videos too. I mean, commenting is cool, but it will help us a lot. If you guys watch three more than three minutes <laughs> and uh, hit the like. Just saying. Also, if you guys really want to help us out, go ahead and share on your social medias. Yeah, that too. Just you, saying. You know what I love? Oh, I, I've noticed Bitches. over the past few months, you're having this inside joke now with the watching and the commenting, and I'm all for it. All game. 100%. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, you know. Just trying to keep it spicy. Okay, so Sorry, let, let, let's, let's start off, bro. How the fuck have you been? I've been shitty. <laughs> I've been shitty. I mean, for the most part, uh, it's not horrible, but it is still, you know, downgrading shit. But um, I would say... The weather is not helping, bro. Yeah, no. The weather is so iffy. It's like a, a female owner, period. I, I want to take it to the next level. It's a bipolar female on her period. Yes. Yes. Literally one day it's 40 degrees. The next day it's 20. One day it's raining in the high 30s. The next day it's snowing in the mid 20s. I'm, I'm over the shit. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's all I can say. I'm over that shit. And I know the last episode we were, we were talking about black ice, bro. I am so... At this point, I would rather get three inches of snow every single day than get... Six inches of snow one week, and then it rains the next. I'm just over the shit. It, whatever you looking at now, it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the new Matrix would say. Mm. Yeah. You thought Neo was the one? Bitch, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was me. But yeah, it, I've been stable. I've been trying to, you know, keep up with the with the world. And um I would say when when you say that do you mean what do you mean specifically? I'm just adjusting. I am I'm still living, you know, st- stability. So you try and be adaptable but still live your life. Exactly. Yeah. I respect that. Yeah. But I would say only good thing that came out of this is I finally got a profit share this year. So it's official. Yeah, I, I actually got a profit share this year. Mm. It wasn't great, but it's better than nothing. I'll tell you that. And I'm assuming once you get more seniority, it will improve. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I don't know exactly how by how much, but... All I'm going to say, whatever you got, I can guarantee you it was more than what Tesla gave us. So, mm. bro, we didn't even get two grand. You got that one. You definitely got that one. Because <laughs> <laughs> we got more than two grand. Yeah, yeah. Definitely got that one. And and how, how, how long does it take you to get your money? Oh, we got it directly on the day. Oh, in full? Or like is it I half? Mean, tax. No, it was in full. Oh, so so like literally the day of you got after taxes, you got everything you were supposed to get. Yeah. So so just think about the amount we got. 
It takes us 12 months. 12 months? Yes, bro. Why does it take so long? Do you guys get like a portion every check? No, it's because the turnover rate is so bad at Tesla. It's one of the many ways Tesla saves money. So if you quit or you get fired, because like when you, because you have to, first off, you have to sign it to say that you approve about getting the, the, the bonus. Yeah. The, it's called the bonus, right? But yeah. in the document, it specifically says that at any point, if you leave Tesla for whatever reason, you don't get the payment. You don't get the remaining payment because they do it in quarters. That is fucked up. Bro, every company that I ever got a bonus in, it was right then and there in the moment. And by the yeah. way, I understand if you're like a CEO and your bonus is millions of dollars. So a company might say, okay, you don't get it all at once. You get it in quarters over the course of a year because it's a lot of money and they want to make sure you stay. Right. But bro, you didn't even give us two grand and then you're going to say, oh yeah, you, it's also over 12 months. That is fucked. Up. That's why I said I know for a fact, even if the bonus wasn't as good as last year, because last year they got nine grand, even if it wasn't that, yeah, you, you little privileged little bitch. I'm not privileged. <laughs> I, I promise you. With, yo, no lie, with everything I have to pay, that five grand, like if I paid everything on like right now, oh, full it, amount, everything, it that five grand is gone. Basically. I keep saying five grand. Guys, I don't know how much exactly I got, but it, it's gone. I, I edit it out. <laughs> but yeah, that amount, I, if I pay everything, that thing is gone. No, no, I'm fucking with you, bro. I'm just, I'm fucking with you because I know where you're coming from, but it's still better than me. That's why I'm saying you're being a little privileged. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Pussy eater. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that shit is, man... Annoying. Well, well, on a on a positive note, our our great female governor, governor, uh, uh, it was like roughly a month ago. She uh, she lifted the mask mandate for companies. This is true. And last week, she just lifted the mask mandate for schools. So technically speaking, you New don't York, have to wear a mask. Yes, everybody, as long as the school. Well, it's. It's up to the school or the company now to where, like, if the company or the school wants to, technically you still will be forced to. But now it's not forced by the government, which is the key thing. And even though I know she only did it because pressure was building, at the end of the day, better late than never. True. True. So this is a sign of hope. And I'm just glad... I don't have to keep complaining about students being forced to wear a mask anymore. I like that. Oh, I, I love that, bro. It, when I read that, I'm like, man, I feel for those kids. Guess what? I still got to wear a mask. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I? Yeah, at my job. You guys don't have to wear a mask anymore? Wow, the one good thing that Tesla has over GM. Ha, 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 ha. Yep, still got to go through the same process walking in. That's that's actually very surprising. No, it's not. Because of that factory? Yep. Do you think it's the head of the factory, why it's still in place? I think it's that company itself, GM itself, Mm -hmm. because I'm pretty sure everyone still has Every factory still has Yeah, because they would have said something by now. Okay. Oh, yeah, like a company. That is true because when literally the moment that the governor said uh, companies, it's up to the company, Tesla the very next day uh, gave out an email saying, if you don't want to, you don't have to. If, you know, they did, if GM did give out an a email, we haven't heard for a, a, about it. And if we do hear about it, it's going to be like a week later. Yo, bro, can it's I It's always ta- late. Can I tell you something? Okay, so... The day before that mask mandate was lifted, right, we have this one security guard who thinks he's RoboCop or something, right? And he was going up and down our line telling anybody who had their mask below their nose. He was like, and Just he take went, it off. No, 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 no like, like raise it because it was, it was below our nose and he mm-hmm. wanted it above our nose. Oh, and okay. he literally would not leave your side until you put it above your nose. And 
literally the very next day when the mask mandate was lifted and Tesla said, it's up to you, this dude's walking around with no mask. Like, bro, you literally were being a dickhead for whatever reason. You probably didn't get pussy last night. (laughs) And you were literally so bored, you were bugging everybody on my line about raising our mask. And then the next day, you're not wearing a mask. So do you really... Did you really care in the first place? Exactly. Exactly. It's probably just a job, you know. But that's a perfect example when somebody is taking his job too seriously. Because whoever is saying you have to do something, you're taking it to the letter. And then the moment they say, oh, no, it's fine. He's like, okay, it's fine. But if you believed in the science, what changed? Right. Mm -hmm. For us, it's uh, um, security. We barely see security. But as it should be, but for us is um, the people that mandates all that is uh, the safety committee, like the safety group people. Does each factory have that, or is that a company wide? Uh, company wide, I think. Okay. Well, no, it's I think each safety each each factory has a safety thing. Okay. Sure. Okay. Like if something was to go wrong, like. Safety is like the big dogs of the factories, I want to say, which oh. is weird. Well, it technically makes sense, especially with your company, because as a union. Yeah. So they will not play around when it comes to safety. Yeah. Like, you can literally get fired if safety says you're doing something wrong. Yeah, well, because that's that's technically a lawsuit. and Yeah. So it's like my supervisor's answers to the other supervisors, and then those supervisors answer to other supervisors, and those supervisors answer to safety. <laughs> so it's like, it's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, safety is like, they'll come around, and when you see, like, a, they have, like, these little jackets or whatever, like, little, um, the, like, construction. The, the neon stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. They have those, and then it says GSC. Once you see that, he's like, oh, safety, oh, get your shit together. Surprisingly, <laughs> though, it's, a, it's well, it's not surprising, but because we don't have a union, somewhat surprising. Tesla is the same way. Yeah. Uh, before every shift, we always have a safety meeting. Mm. The, the leads and the supervisors are always putting safety first. And you also have to remember, since Tesla doesn't have a union, the ability to be sued is a lot higher because you don't know... Like it's when when you have a union, technically, the heads of the company can talk to the heads of the union, and they might be able to work out a deal. Yeah. But if you don't have a union and and an employee gets hurt, and it's especially the company's fault, all it takes is one lawyer for for that that employee to just butt fuck the company the financially. Company. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. For us, we got a union. Them them boys, they be on it. They be on it. Well, that's obvious with your bonuses, the amount and how quickly you got it. Yeah. Yeah. You can be on it. I ain't going to lie. When it comes to certain stuff, I should say. The All-Star break happened uh, two weeks ago now, by the time of this. Stephen Curry won MVP. Mm-hmm. Having a 50-point game. <laughs> Only the second 50-point game in All-Star history. It's the second highest total in All-Star history behind only... Which I completely forgot about. Anthony Davis is fifty-two. Do An all-star? Re- yes, in twenty seventeen. Hmm. No wonder he was high privilege <sighs> for a while. Yeah, bro. I completely now he's shit. Thank you, bro. He got injured again. That man. Your are you Lakers, starting? <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Your Lakers is just <laughs> dumb. But- are you starting to come my way and see what I'm talking about when I say he is not living up to his potential? True. This is true. Dude, he got that one chip, which most people forget. He got injured before Corona hit. So he had three, four months to heal, which was the only reason why he was healthy in the playoffs. True. That is definitely true. Chris Paul sadly got injured. Yeah. He's going to be out for, might be out for as long as two months. I mean, I, I'm. it's okay for him because they're number one in the seed and they don't really have much to worry about. Truthfully. And they play as a team. 
Yeah, and they like you said, they play as a team. So it's not only that, but he comes back literally right in time for the playoffs also. Yes. So, yeah. like, he's literally okay just to rest. And then when he does come back. And the crazy thing is, I don't think his injury is supposed to be that long. I think they're doing that purposely just to have him rested enough for playoffs. And to make sure the injury, the injury is fully healed. Yeah. Well, I was about to say, that's the one benefit for the Suns. They don't need him back ASAP. Exactly. The exactly. Lakers need Anthony Davis, bro. Definitely. And even when he plays... Are they even eighth seed anymore? Ninth. That shit is sick. To have the Lakers not even in a playoff <laughs> standing is sick. Dude, and if, if they even if they get into the playing game, I don't think they're making the playoffs with the way they're playing now. And it's not like LeBron isn't trying. He's averaging oh. like 30-plus points every game. Bro, he's averaging the most points he's averaged in over a decade at 37. Like, he's 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 actually trying. It's crazy. And, and well, how about my Bulls? Wait, wait, wait real well, not quick. Not my Bulls, but DeRozan. I just want to say this about the All Star, specifically Curry. He he hit sixteen three pointers, bro. Mm-hmm. Most of them came from beyond thirty feet, where he shot fifty percent. Mm-hmm. You just letting them things fly. <coughs> and then, of course, he was on Team LeBron. Mm-hmm. I had a bet on there too. I think it, I won that bet. Um, I hope you did because this was every every year since they implemented the captain system. LeBron won every time. He's five and zero. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Five and zero. Oh. So, and if you guys wonder why LeBron has picked Curry, I think it's like three straight years now. You see why? Yeah, he won that W. <coughs> and I, I just want to point out this was the first All Star year, by the way, where the MVP award was officially named the Mamba Award after Kobe Bryant. And of all the performances to get the first ever Mamba Award, it's when Curry goes for 50, shoot, uh, shooting over 60% from beyond the arc and hitting 16 three pointers. Is there anything more Mamba than that? Nothing. Because who's going to, it's going to be a while before somebody does that. Do, at least not the, the 50 points is doable, but at the least 16, the 16 threes, it's going to be a while. Definitely going to be a while. I wouldn't be surprised if that lasts decades, depending on the way the game... Because you know how the game is always going back and forth, yeah. high-paced to slow-paced? Yeah. I, it's kind of... I do think, that for the All-Star, I do think the uh, set points thing, I do think that is weird. Oh, yeah. Uh, whoever gets to a certain point first yeah. wins. Yeah, I do think that's weird. The only reason why I think that's good for the All-Star game... Because at the very least, it makes the fourth quarter feel like a real game. It's like certain forms of one-on-one in the streets yeah. to where, like, you technically have a, a – let's say you're playing to 7 or 21, but yeah. some people – one by two. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Which is kind of fascinating because it's nice to see these very rich athletes, at least for one quarter, play street ball. True. Because they definitely double-teamed him. Yes. Off of a fadeaway mid-range jumper. And he still made it. On two people. Now that's clutch. That's Kobe. Mm, bring it back to Kobe. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so let's talk about your Bulls, bro. I wouldn't even say preferably my Bulls. My Bulls is actually doing really good this year, which is uh, which I'm happy for. And they're doing pretty well recently, even though they have been hit by injuries. Yeah, definitely. But I would, would say my man DeRozan is coming in the clutch, literally. Do you know There's if, been, like, multiple games where he hit clutch Ws for us. And do you know if his 35-plus point streak is still active? No. It actually stopped uh, last game. Okay, but at one point, it got as high as eight straight. He scored 35. Was it eight? Eight yes. or nine? It might have been. Last time. It was nine. Well, it was at least eight. It might be. But yeah, last time, it, it, last game he had only had twenty eight or twenty seven, something like that. And when did he play? Did he play last night? Yeah, I think it was against. Who was it against? It was a, a good defensive team. I okay, was, so I think it was the Heat. It was nine then, because the, uh, I put a bet that he was going to score twenty eight or more, and I actually won the bet because I think he scored 30, 33 or thirty five this past month. 
he's been ridiculous. My boy was balling. And people forget, like, this is how he played in Toronto, man. Yeah. He was an efficient mid, mid-range shooter. Yeah. And you know why, why he's crafted his mid-range? Because his favorite player of all time was Kobe. Yep. Just keep bringing it back to Kobe. Hey, man. He still wears Kobe's sneakers. Mm-hmm. And my man perfected his game. That's all. Definitely. Because if you watch him, his his move sets to get open is crazy in the mid range. Oh yeah, dude. Like, and it, and it's not like it's not the stereotypical step back. He it's no, it's the like spin. actual. Yeah, yeah. Like he got his he got the dribble. He can go off of picks. Dri- dri- he can pick up the dribble and shoot from it. Catch and set shoot. his feet perfectly. Catch and shoot. Mid range fadeaways. Yeah, definitely. I'm happy for him. Dude, I am too. He this is the, when everything's said and done. This might be his best season in all aspects, from a point perspective, from a clutchness perspective, from a team perspective. Definitely. Which is crazy, considering at least regular season wise, how good his Toronto teams were. Yeah. Like I said, I'm happy for it. And can I just point this out? The Lakers could have had him. Lakers definitely could have had him. He wanted to play for the Lakers first. But the Bulls got him, baby. And we we balling. We balling. We like number three right now. Can you imagine when you guys are fully healthy and you're going to be dangerous in the playoffs? Oh, yeah. Lonzo comes back. Caruso comes back. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm actually happy Kobe White is performing pretty good. I think he he hasn't been playing lately, though. A lot, I should say. But he, I'm happy he's playing good. Uh, Zach Levine is Zach Levine. He, he, I mean, he. I don't like how Zach Levine was like the star of the Bulls though, and then now he's like secondary to DeRozan. Yeah, it's he, like good why, and bad. Why you prefer him as the number one? I prefer him as the number one only because of the points he was putting up when he was doing it. I don't think his. Why do you think he's more? He's more think, diversified. Hmm? He's more diverse. Yes. But I will, I do like how DeRozan kind of has picked up also because he's more efficient. Yeah, yeah. So and, it's like the best of both worlds, I guess. And DeRozan to me is more, more brutal with the way he he goes about it. Like yeah. he's more he he has he has like a toughness to the way he scores. To where Zach Levine is more fluid and he and not efficient, but. It looks like it's easier for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So I, I don't know. I mean, like they both put up great, great numbers, but it's just not always at the same time. This is true. So this is very true. You'll see. You'll see Zach put up thirty three. You'll see DeRozan put up thirty five or thirty seven. But it's like the next game, DeRozan puts up thirty three. But they're Zach consist- puts up 22. I was about to say, they're consistently, when one's going off, normally the other is right behind, and vice versa. Yeah, for the most part. They're one of the best duos. Definitely. Be- well, Jalen and uh, Jason, of course. Yeah. Them two dudes. Jason they balling. Tatum, man. Yeah, they balling. Dude, have but- you seen what they've been doing? Yeah. The, the way they've been blowing out teams? I'm like, holy shit, it's, bro. It's taking a while, but fucking finally. Fucking finally, but dude, they're they're averaging thirty around thirty points each Vic- person. Yeah, victory of margin. Yeah. What I don't know what their standings is though. <coughs> I, I don't know either, but I know at one point they were at the bottom of the playoff picture, and now they're in the middle of the pack. Yeah. Let me all, see. Let all me in see. the course of February, they're six for February. That's not February for February. They went on a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven game win streak. And then, well, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so for, for February 2nd, <laughs> when it started, they went on a win streak for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven games from February 2nd to the 15th. And then All Star Weekend, of course. And then the 24th and the 26th, they won. So, but yeah. They, they only lost two games the yeah. whole month. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. 
And most of those victories are on the road, which is even crazier. Yeah, and they just beat Atlanta. But moving on, guys, we're going to talk about video games. Was it? Well, you're going to talk about video games. Well, I'm going to talk about oh. video games. Dying Light 2, right? Dying Light 2. If you guys haven't played Dying Light 2, Dying Light is a video game where they introduce parkour and zombies. The which, apocalypse. Which kind of sounds crap. But, but it's actually very, very fucking epic. Yeah, yeah, it's dope as hell. Very epic. The game is amazing. The gameplay is amazing. The storyline is kind of shit. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Okay, because I was about to say the one consistent thing about that game that's a negative is that people say the story is lackluster to be positive and straight shit to be negative. Yeah. Compared to how they... Compared to the first one? Yes. Compared to the first one, it is... It is the storyline is shit. Don't get me wrong. What? The first one really wasn't that... Yeah. I would say they're both shit. But this but... one's shittier, story-wise? Mm. This one has a concept behind it. Yeah, because, bro, I think the story for the first one was completely overrated. Like, yeah. I think people were in the hype of the game so much. They were like, oh, yeah, the story, because it's a campaign game. Right. So they combined everything. But if you go back and watch it. Mm. Yeah. This first one, the first one was kind of shit. Don't get me wrong. But this one has a concept behind it, so it is a little bit better. Okay. So, but it's kind of confusing because... Think the voices are the same. So they have similar voice actors? Yes. And it throws me off. Because it doesn't go along with the story. Yes. So it <laughs> it kind of messes me up because it's like, maybe this is the same guy as the first one. But then it's like, didn't he die? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's really confusing. But it is in a different spot, a different area of the world, so... I guess uh, my my two my two questions are how are the graphics compared to the first one and how is the size of the map cuz supposedly the map is massive in this game. The map is massive. Um is it overwhelming? Not really. Okay. No, I would say no, but the map in the first one was kind of big too. Yeah, I know. That's why in the first one it was two different cities. Yeah. This one, I think it's like three. Oh, my God, dude. And you can go back and forth. The map, so I wouldn't say the map is huge, but it gives you more options. An opportunity. Yeah. Mm. And it's more like side missions and all that, of course. Does it feel like an open world game? Are you are you fatigued by it like you were Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Oh, no. <laughs> if, it's, if you're comparing it to an open world game like that, no, not at all. You're definitely restricted. But it's, like, restricted in its own way. I just think it's so funny how you're going to die in your grave hating that game. The hol- Oh, yes. And it's crazy because I, all I have to do is just re-download it, and it probably is fixed. But I regret re-downloading it. Yeah, you don't want to. I, yeah, I like, I'm completely thrown off at that game. Like, completely. Because I, re- I remember last time you were talking about it, you were, you were talking about, like, your power level. And you are like, bro, I'm only a fraction to the way. Yeah, like, it's crazy. And it's crazy because I got so far into that, like, so far in that game. And then it's like, one, one, what is, one fuck up, like, one lag or glitch in the game messed up the whole, like, experience it, of the whole experience just for me to continue the game. Bro, I'm going to die to my grave with the second Prince of Persia game, bro. Oh, yeah. Dude, I was literally at the end of the game, and I couldn't freaking fight the boss because you have to go through a portal, but the portal was glitched. And this was the remastered version of the game, bro. This wasn't the original. How the fuck do you not fix a (laughs) game-ending bug that's literally at the end of the game in the remastered version? I'm like, Ubisoft, go fuck yourself. You know, and it's crazy because I don't remember if it was like a main mission no, it or was a side, side mission. It was a side mission. and Because it, it, was, it was something stupid where you have to go to the top of a hill or yeah, something. Yeah, and meditate. Yeah. So a side mission literally messed me up throughout the whole game. Like, I can't, like, I don't know what to do. And you, it's so messed up. You know what's funny, too? If you, 
if you decided to re-download it, you you would have to beat the main ca- main campaign. But then you wouldn't be done after that because there's three additional expansions now. And yes. The, and the third expansion is is bigger. It's a brand new. Yeah. Completely brand new. And it's crazy because uh, I loved that game at, at that time. Dude, no matter what anybody says. Yeah, it's crazy also. If I play that game now and continue, I would die so much because I don't know the buttons. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, my God. But yeah, Pokemon was is still amazing. Oh yeah, you get any further in that? I actually didn't beat it, but I got. I think I'm like actually at the end or mm. close to it. What level are you? Mm, in Pokemon, mm-hmm. I wouldn't say it's a level. Doesn't doesn't the trainer have like a level for the index or whatever? Mm-mm. Oh, it has like a star thing. Yeah, that's what I'm I like s- level five <coughs> or six, mm, but it's okay. like eleven or twelve altogether. Yeah, I know, bro. You slacking. But that's the thing. I think I'm at the end of the game, and I, you still just got to get stars and stuff. <laughs> I thought you could catch them all. I actually have a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> I actually uh, caught a lot of, like, remember I told you they had alphas? Mm-hmm. I actually caught a, a lot of alphas. Um, I think I, I can't really remember where I'm at, but I think I'm actually about to meet a legendary all right, I met Reggie, some of the Reggies. Mm. So I think I'm about to I'm about to meet. Oh, I met the the three psychic Pokemon. The lakes. Yes, mm-hmm. I met them. I don't. I think at the later later on in the game, I think I go back and try to catch them. The pink, blue, and yellow. Yeah. So I met them. Did you Did you see the the new Pokemon game, Violet and whatever? Violet and Scarlet or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Well, I no, not really. I seen the starters, bro. I'm just they just get worse and worse. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't, I don't get it. But you know what's bad about these? At least the 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 past few regions where I wasn't a fan of the coolness factor, the design still felt natural and yeah. unique. Yeah. These literally look like previous starters, just with different types. Like that one, uh, that one grass type. It looks like how a fighting type normally would look, but they just made it a grass type. Do you remember how it looks? I'm about to find out. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I remember, bro, when I was looking at them. Besides the water type, the water type actually looks like a water type, and it looks like original. But the fire and grass. Look like different starters, and they just were forced to be fire and grass. What is it? Scarlet and violet. Violet. Which, by the way, I don't even know what the concept could be for scarlet and violet because yes, they're opposites. The fire type looks the most stupid. That looks like a, a hippo. Why is a hippo looking like a fire type? Bro, it makes no sense. Okay, but the grass types looks like Litten. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So this is exactly what I was talking about. The the fire type. Okay, first off, the water type, once again, I think the coolness factor is trash, but it's a duck. That makes sense. Yeah. And it, and, and it's a cute it duck. It looks like it. Yeah, it's a water type, but... Uh, I mean, it's water and flying. But the fire type looks... It, it should not be fire type because it looks like a mix between a hippo and a mini crocodile. Yeah. Yeah. And in any scenario, a hippo or a crocodile should be water ground type. or water type. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fire type. And then and then this was, was what I was specifically talking about. The grass type literally looks like litten. It looks like a fox, but it's a grass. Yeah. I don't know, man. Bro, no matter which way you try to look at it, from a creativity perspective or just a common sense, logical perspective. I didn't even know they released a trailer. When is a fox grass? Foxes eat meat. Foxes are sweet but aggressive, which represents fire. 
What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> I wonder how many Pokemon is going to be in this game. What I want to know, I want to know the region and they the said nine hundred. I don't know if it's exactly nine hundred in this game or it's bumped up to nine hundred. But they said in from they said for all the gens put together, it's nine hundred Pokemon. <coughs> well, just like with every Pokemon game, the region and the purpose of the region is gonna make or break it. Yeah, it says this. What a franchise! To this date, there are nearly nine hundred Pokemon across <coughs> available across all eight generations of video games. This is a huge amount of design work, and after nine hundred different morphemes of Pokemon and object. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know. We'll see, my man. I I just I just don't care, bro. Yeah. We'll uh, see. I'm waiting for the day when Game Freak is actually making Pokemon games with graphics that are pleasing, and then they re remake Arceus. Man, those graphics are trash. Arceus, <coughs> man, I'm telling you, the graphics are trash, bro. Dude, let's be real. If it was not a Pokemon game, and a game like that, which was promoted in that regard, was released solely for PlayStation. It was oh, a yeah. first party. If it was like that, then yeah. Dude, literally everyone on planet Earth would be dogging that game. But for whatever reason, because it's Nintendo and it's Pokemon, it gets a pass. Yeah. Bro. Cause this is like, because if you look at all the, <coughs> if you look at how Pokemon started to where it is, or not even how it started, if you look at Game Boy Color. But to be fair, Pokemon always got a pass because it was a top-down game. Yeah. It is no longer a top-down game. And you... No matter what anybody says, you can always get away with graphics on a top-down game just because of, just because of how the gameplay is for top-down games. Yeah. When you start to switch from top-down to third-person and you're going for realism, realism in the sense where you could see the full body of a human. You the full see. body of a Pokemon. Yeah. But I will say I do like how... In third person, you can see, like, the actual height of the Pokemons. Bro, it, the concept of, his, of it is great. But yeah. I'm saying the execution, bro. Let's be real. If you compare those graphics to just PlayStation 3 games, like Uncharted 3, let alone The Last of Us, which game has better graphics? I mean, but it's PlayStation. It's a <coughs> console game. Nintendo, bro. Mario games, at least ever since Wii U, have been looking better than that. That is true. And that's the Wii U, bro. That is that true. That underpowered piece of crap. I'm, bro, you know me. I love Pokemon. When you were geeking out about it, it made me think about my childhood. True. Dude, that night, I watched Pokemon cartoons. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> I still watch the the, Nef- the one they have on Netflix. The is it Journeys. It- Oh, yeah, because so it's still in the most recent region. Yeah, but they actually go back and forth to all the other regions, which is pretty cool. That is cool. They just went to Sinnoh and met up with, uh, what's her name, Dawn? Or is it Dawn? Yeah, yeah, Dawn is Sinnoh. Yeah, they just met up with her. Oh, crap. I still don't like the new animation, though, for the TV show. Yeah. Ash looks... But I'm happy they kind of did it better than the other... One that they did when he was in a a lot. Lo- oh, bro, that was that animation was horrible. <laughs> like down, sh- completely shit. <laughs> no, Ash. All the all the characters, their faces look like it was done by uh, not the best sixth grade art student. Yeah, yeah. It's it like, looked like squiggly and lines. Was, and that was the first time we actually saw Ash go to school. Yeah, which by the way, it's been. It's been 20 plus years, and this man has been the same age Bro, since. You know why? Because Dialga is the god of time, <coughs> and he has some type of spear over Ash where he just. <laughs> you going gonna to try to sell these people these <laughs> bullshit? Do, y- <laughs> Do y'all hear this? He's trying to sell y'all some bullshit. Well, technically, every region has a time god, so I'm just... 
This is true. Every time he goes to a new region, that time God just gives him. He just bless him every time. Oh, every you're going to stay 10 forever. Yes, bro. He just always hits the lottery in a new region. Who is this man? But I, but yeah, I, in the new one, they actually make, they actually let him remember everything. Oh, like he doesn't have that random deja vu at the beginning at the of beginning every movie. Yes, he actually remembers everything. Like the one time they actually went back to Pilot Town, and they actually met up with Doctor uh, Oak. Oak and all that. And then uh, Doctor Oak was like, "Oh, your Pokemon misses you," and I was like, "I wonder what Pokemon they're gonna show." They actually showed all the all the, all the joke, old Pokemon. All the Kanto. Yes, they showed uh, Charizard. They showed Muck. They showed, uh, who else did he have? I know we already said this. Bulbasaur, in pre- all of them. In the previous episode. They even showed Infinite. But Ash, he abuses, he, he's an animal abuser, bro. <laughs> Why? Because. I wouldn't say he's an abuser. He definitely abandons them. That is, that is a form of animal abuse. He purposely catches and is the rightful owner of all these animals, which in the Pokemon universe, they are. Yeah. And then he's just, he's a, he puts them in. He trains them and then makes them better. And then the Give moment he gets something heart, new. And then like, as soon as he gets done with the region, he's like, all right, Dr. Oak, you got it? <laughs> he's a stepdad of his own kids, all right? <laughs> and the video games are even, well, technically the video games try to express that. Yeah. Where it, when you put them in those Pokédex. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you could change the region. So, like, if you want your ice Pokemon, you could put that. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh yeah. The wallpaper. The uh, wallpaper is supposed to represent the environment for these but animals. That's like too, so much organizing. Yeah, and this and that's my point. Most people don't organize, so they put they put a freaking ice Pokemon in the volcano region. Abuse. I just. You're abusing your ice Pokemon. I just that's like putting a polar bear Pokemon in the Sahara. And once the box fill up, obviously <laughs> they just go to the next box. I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know what you want me to do. All right. So hey, if that ice Pokemon gets lucky and goes to the ice box, hey, he, good, he's good in luck. there. Go, you, hey, you in your environment. I don't know what to tell you. Well, if you go to a rainforest, uh, you gotta survive. You gotta hey. find a way. Adapt. <laughs> Turn into a, a water ice type. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's probably where these mega evolutions you know come from. Yeah. But you know what's crazy? I actually organized in this box a little bit, like in the Arceus Pokemon. Wow. Only because I didn't want to mix up the alphas with the other Pokemon. So, like, alphas have their own box. See, you keep proving my point. You're putting certain animals above others. That's abuse. That's not abuse. Yes, it is, because you're you're showing privilege to the to the alphas, and then everybody else is like, yeah, you no, because I don't because you can catch a regular Pokemon, and then the alpha is looks exactly the same in the mm-hmm. box. Mm-hmm. The only difference is the power level, and they have like a little symbol that shows that it's an alpha. It's like a little uh, icon. So you're trying to tell me you you're, you're trying to look out for the non alphas, so the. The alphas don't. No, beat I'm saying when I go to choose an alpha <laughs> and put that bitch in my in my the, my starting six. Uh huh. I don't want to put the wrong Pokemon. If I put so if I put the alpha, if I don't grab the alpha, but he looks like it, uh-huh. and he's only level ten, I'm gonna be upset. So I'm gonna grab the alpha who's like level a few more levels higher. So what you're trying to say is you're trying to make your life easier. Yes. Not the Pokemon. Yep. <laughs> Because <laughs> the alpha stats are better. Damn. Obviously. Damn. Yeah. It happens. You want to say I'm an animal abuser? A Pokemon abuser? Well, look at you. <laughs> You're a Pokemon abuser. You use Anna, you use Pokemon to fight other Pokemon. Yeah, that's that's You're a Pokemon abuser. You're the mech you're the Michael Vick of Pokemon. All you are. All of us. I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah, you want to throw the you want to throw the stats out there. Let's throw the stats. Let's throw off the facts. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, every Pokemon trainer is a Pokemon abuser. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 
Uh, well, only ones that actually take care of their Pokemon is the the people that do the contest. Yeah, and uh, the people, like you know how we always make fun of the Pokemon trainers that, like, let's say they have a Mon Shop, and yeah. the Mon Shop is helping them with like, construction. Oh yeah. That That's actually the only proper way to use a Pokemon, where you use them in their natural environment. Yeah, that's true. So we're making fun of them for actually using them the right way, and then it turns out that we think they're the bullies and the villains, when in reality, we are. Because we out here abusing our Pokemon just to make them stronger. Yeah, bro. I want to help you evolve. And go. F- <laughs> that's like a Bulbasaur <laughs> fighting... A Charizard. <laughs> I want you to evolve. We're going to fight someone way tougher than you who also doesn't match up with you. <laughs> Yo, and you want to get really deep. When you teach certain Pokemon types that they're not supposed to learn. So, oh, like, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's actually genetic abuse because you're genetically modifying them to learn a move that they wouldn't. You know, it's this Eevee that's in the new Pokemon show. It doesn't, I mean, Eevee evolves into, like, probably, like, seven different species. Oh, it's it's more than that now. Yeah, it's, like, seven or nine or something like that. I think I think it's nine now. Because it has a fairy type and, I think, another one, a Lola oh, type. I forgot that fairy type. Yeah. The so, fairy type, I'm not going, it, it low-key looks, it looks cool, dude. It looks like a Valentine's Day. Yeah, it does a little bit. Yeah. My favorite one is Umbreon, though. The oh, dark type. dude. I want to make this clear. The Johto region has the best Eevees. Umbreon and, and the Psychic type with the three tails. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Dude. But. Dude, I, I just want to put this on record. Umbreon and Espeon. That's the Psychic. Yeah. Orgasm City, dude. I remember. I, I re- love Umbreon. Umbreon. I remember to this dopest. day that in Pokemon Heroes, mm-hmm. it has Espeon and just seeing... That Pokemon in motion because at the time we only had gold and silver for for those for those oh, yeah. uh, Pokemon, and they look trash back. Like n- now they look trash, but back then that was the closest thing we had. But in that in that film, dude, I'm oh my god, this is a, even when I was that young, I'm like this is a beautiful piece of Pokemon. Yeah, but yeah, like in the cartoon, she the Eevee does like it doesn't know what it wants to evolve into. So it's just doing mad different fucking Pokemon types type moves, and then it sees wh- another Pokemon do a move, you and know, it copies it. You know, you know what that is? That's an analogy for us humans forcing too much shit on our kids, and we're confusing our kids. Just let your kid be. Yeah. Just let your. But that's the thing. The Eevee is just doing it itself. It's not like the trainer is not telling it what to do. The Eevee is doing it itself. So like if, that's one like confused the one, ass Eevee. Yeah, the one episode. Pup, uh, pup lip, pup, purp lip, the water oh, type, oh, the uh, penguin. Type. Yeah, yeah, from the Sinnoh. Yeah, I think it's pup lip. Whatever. It used uh, bubble beam. Eevee seen it use bubble beam, and then somehow it learned bubble beam. Oh. <laughs> well, Eevee's one of the rare Pokemon that can learn, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing. But it's a normal type. Yeah. Eevee starts off as a normal type, so how the fuck are you doing bubble beam? Well, Eve, you ne- Eevee never has to evolve. No, technically it doesn't. Technically. It could stay that normal type, which yeah. has its pros and its cons. And technically speaking, Eevee is the m- most... Versatile. Yeah. Pokemon definitely is, besides Mew. Dude, the history behind Mew and Mewtwo, I've, I fucking love it. Who's the oldest? Well, obviously Mew is the oldest because he's the original one. No, but... Oh, between Mew and Mewtwo? Yeah, but, like, who's, like, the real OG of Pokemon besides oh, it's, Arceus? Arceus is, like, th- the god of Pokemon. Well, then but it's, it's, like, it's Arceus, then it's Dialga, Palkia, and uh, mm, what's that one? The, uh, G- Giratina? Giratina. Mm, that makes sense. That because, does make sense. Because you can't have anything without time and space. And then Giratina is, as it's mentioned, the... Alternate dimension. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense then. So they're their oldest. <clears throat> yeah, that's why the Sinnoh region is so... Like, the Sinnoh region 
for me is very up and down to where there's some aspects of it that's so trash, but then others that are so brilliant. The Sino region is literally like the way I look at it. The Sino region is the the universal aspect of our world, mm. and then like the Hoenn region is the actual uh, Earth aspect because the Hoenn region represents uh, it represents air, water, and and Earth. With who? Uh, Rayquaza is, is the sky. Groudon is the earth, and then Kyogre is the water, the sea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then Mew represents Jesus. He is the DNA of everybody. Yep. And then you got the Kalos region, which straight up represents life and death. Which one is that? That's with the deer and the bird. Mm. X and Y. Yeah. And then you you have. I'm always bad with the names of the regions. Well, I only know I I only know up until that point because I truly, for me, Kalos was the last region that actually had meaning, because even uh even the Unova region that was the New York City one yeah uh black and white, that's supposed to represent the darkness and the light and life yeah, and has and yo to this day, those two legendaries. It's top notch, top notch <laughs> in every aspect. Power, the design, bro. Yeah, top notch. Oh my god! And and people don't want to listen. That region, in terms of the region itself, in terms of the diversity of the the, the Pokemon and everything. Yeah. Oh my god! Even the story. I feel like the storyline is top tier. That storyline is top tier. You could make the case besides the. The Hoenn region with Team Magma and Team uh, and Team Alpha. Yeah, that that is the best freaking. To me, that's the best storyline. Yeah. Well, and the, the reason dragons, why it's so good because it, it it goes into the background of how the dragons became and what's the point the of villain? it. The villain of it. The villain is like technically like your best friend or not best friend, but like a close companion. But he was just raised in a different environment. It, it, yeah. it, dude, it's it's a stereotypical. Japanese story. Yeah. Yeah. That shit was dope. And it's so cool, too, because black and black and white, it, you know how, like, they always do the opposite. So, in one of the games... I, I kind of also like the storyline of Sword and Shield. Yeah, you told me about that. Sword and Shield had a dope storyline, too. <laughs> I technically haven't played, so I have to I have to watch the and read up on that. To... Yeah, Sword and... Yeah. Definitely. My only problem, I do not like the way those legendaries look. I know they look like a sword and shield, but it just Nah, I I, I can I can understand that. But they're dogs. They're completely just straight dogs. Sun and moon grew on me. Those legendaries, those legendaries are low key cool. You got a you got a lion, which when you think about it, it does look like a sun, and then you have a bat. As the moon, yeah, it makes the concept of them is yeah, but that storyline is completely shit. Yes, Alola region is just shit. <laughs> well, this is I'll make the case. Aloha region is just like Johto and Kento, where it's like if you look back at Kento and Johto, those storylines are really meaningless. But because they were the first two, they have so much nostalgia for so many people. They also. That the reason why I say this that that is that region is shit. They also is the region that switched up typings of Pokemon. Yeah, they switched up so much in there, and I was like, yeah, this is stupid. This I is stupid. I said that from day one. I thought that the the mega not the mega, but it's called something the giant form thing was stupid. Oh, Giganto, yeah, retarded, yeah. Literally, it that, makes that no. It, it that doesn't make any sense, even in the Pokemon universe. And that's still the same fucking Pokemon. How? How? That shit is so stupid. Because of evolution. Evolute these nuts. <laughs> 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 but yeah, sorry guys, we went on a little rant there. But okay, so let's talk about. Just give me your honest opinions and what you know. This whole, what's your thoughts about? Oh, we're going to war. Something yeah, that. Yeah, Russia. Um, World War Three is definitely close. <laughs> Cause them boys is them boys is they 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 blew up some shit. 
what if I told you that at least some, if not a lot of the footage that is being shown by the American news corporations is actually old footage? What if you said it was old footage? Yeah, like what we're being shown is not recent. I'm not saying it's not then happening. I would say they're trying to go make us go to war then. Okay. Okay. Or at least put fear in us uh, to be worried about Russia. Yeah. Now, what if I told you that the news is so quick for us to leave Afghanistan, but we're so quick to go into Ukraine? How does that align with you? That we never had a real threat in Afghanistan then? Okay. Or at least our threat is gone. So, what if they told you that the reason why we left Afghanistan was to save the children, the troops, parents' children, but now they want us to go to war in Ukraine? I don't know what to say on that one. They left Afghanistan (coughs) to save the troops? Yeah, let's say... Just to go to war? No, let's say the number one reason, you remember when we left Afghanistan? Yeah. Let's say they were saying it's because it's saving lives. It's saving our troops' lives. It's saving children. Oh, it's saving our troops' lives. Yeah. But now they're so quick for us to save it just to put it back in danger. Yes. Idiots. Okay. How do you feel when I tell you the news is so quick to defend the border of Ukraine and its civilians, but were but they never say anything about defending our own border with Mexicans. Doesn't make sense. Not okay. at all. Okay. Not at all. Hmm. As the audience <clears throat> should know now, and you I've I've almost instilled it in you. I just want consistency, bro. If you're gonna preach to me one way with one issue and we have the exact same issue but in a different area of the world but then your message changes I'm going to start saying you're full of shit you're racist <laughs> that's what it is they're racist because if you say Afghanistan is a threat why can't the Ukraine be a threat or vice versa or vice versa racist <laughs> and and this is the thing the news hasn't been highlighting. What if I told you that the day before Russia supposedly invaded Ukraine, Biden, it's it's documented that he ordered a strike on Crimea, which is a country right below Ukraine. And if you believe the reports that aren't being reported, Joe Biden's son has financial interests in Crimea. So he bombed Crimea because his son. I'm not. I'm not telling you what what is or isn't happening. I'm just telling you. His son has financial interest in Crimea, right? Yeah. It's a small country. So let's say if America takes it over, if you already have financial interest in that country, it's easier to make money because now the country that you live in. Yeah now can fully develop it. So if you already have a base, hmm. and now when you have that thought in your head, your father, who is the president of the United States, just coincidentally bombs that same country. So you can build off of it. Yeah. Hmm. And also, more coincidentally, he orders the strike the day before Russia supposedly invades Ukraine, which, by the way, the reason why I'm saying that's coincidental, because now, let's say, even if the news wanted to cover Biden bombing this country, they're not going to because Russia is what? Supposedly invading Ukraine. This is true. World War Three might be coming. Yeah, bro. It's a little scary, but I'm going to live my best life until it happens. You feel me? I just want to say some of these thoughts because so, it, I've been thinking about it. I I don't care what our news says because I don't believe our news and 
you can make the case we sh- haven't been able to truly trust our news for decades now because they lost their ability to be unbiased. And the news sure. is supposed to be unbiased, or at least as unbiased as humanly possible. We need to forget that uh, Ukraine has a lot of Russian people living there. And when I say Russian, I mean ethnicity-wise, they are Russian. Yeah. Especially the areas that are supposedly being bombed by Russia, those are the highly filled Russian cities of Ukraine. You need to take that into consideration. You also need to take into consideration that... The bitches is always going to be bitches. Ukraine, in one way or another, has either indirectly or directly been a part of the Russian country for centuries. Yeah. So even though there might be areas of the Ukraine that have Ukrainian values and Ukrainian ways of life, many parts also have pure-blooded Russian values. And as the pandemic has taught us, politicians more or less do not serve the people. So I don't care what the Ukrainian minister or the Ukrainian president is saying he wants to do. I can, I'm very positive that most of the Ukrainian citizens either want to be Russian or they wouldn't mind being Russian. So what we as a people need to consider, it's not what the politicians want in a country. It's what the people want. So if the people either don't mind being governed by Russia or they straight up want to be governed, who is it for us as Americans to say they should or shouldn't? Yeah. Now, I'm American, so I'm going to say I don't want illegal immigrants because there's literally thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people who are trying to come here legally. Right. There's a process. You have to respect the process. So when we talk about immigration and we talk about borders, I can only comment on Canada and Mexico. I think Canada is retarded and they're president or whatever he's called, prime minister, Trudeau, is a fucking fascist. If you, if you guys have been paying attention and you guys want to actually call somebody a fascist, look at what he's doing. He is literally taking rights away. And mm. then you look at Mexico. A lot of shit's happening that isn't being reported. A lot of stuff is going down that isn't being reported. And no matter what you want to say, a lot of it is influenced by the cartel. And One way or another, if you're helping these people come into America, you are ultimately helping the cartel. And the cartel is not good. This is true. So I'm going to comment on that. I'm never going to comment on Ukraine and Russia because, first off, if we can't trust our own media, why do you think we could trust the media over there when we're literally halfway across the country? So do you think we're going to get any positive or any truthful information? And then at the end of the day... We're halfway across the country. Why the world. fuck? We're halfway across the world. Thank you. Why the fuck do I care? True. Sure. And you shouldn't either. Unless you plan on moving to either Russia or the Ukraine. Or if you're in the army. Or some type of military. Yes. But at that point, I would still say you shouldn't care about them. You should care about the hypocritical politicians where one day they're saying, oh, we care about your safety because you're, Af- you're in Afghanistan. But because Russia is invading Ukraine, we need you to go there. Yes. Get your shit together. (laughs) I just don't like how people, one minute, they want America to be isolated, and then the next minute, they don't. You can't have it both ways. You, you, You can't say you're faithful, but then you want to fuck a new chick every weekend when, when your girl was at home. I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying you can't do that, but I'm saying you can't preach the lifestyle of one way or another. Yeah. And that's what I've noticed about this Russia thing. And it's just, bro, do you, like, everything's about ratings. Everything's about money. So if they're pushing one thing, but they're not pushing the other, even though they have similar messages, that just triggers red flags in my head. Okay, you're full of shit. You don't care about me. You don't care about our country. You don't care about these citizens in another country. There is some hidden agenda. This is why I'm always emphasizing consistency, because when you have consistency, 
that's when you could tell if somebody is being genuine in their purpose of doing something. This is true. If somebody's always consistently defending somebody, no matter who they are, the next time they come out and say we should defend A, B, and C, you know, like you know, okay, they've always defended D through Z. They must be serious about A, A, B, and C. True. That's my thoughts. I'm done with my 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 rant. I just wanted to you had to get up out of had had to get that out of there. Yes. Yes. But if you guys are still staying tuned, I just want to say thank you. We appreciate you for who you are. And stay beautiful. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. Yes. Also, Black History Month is over, so I just want to say thank you to our black excellence. Um, but now it is March, so uh welcome to the bullshit. And other than that, we are going to end this video. Because I just I, I just want to say one more thing, right? Okay, never mind. We're not going to end this video. <laughs> we got one more thing. Uh, I want to shout out Shaquille O'Neal because he bought a thousand PlayStation Fives and Nintendo Switches for kids during the holidays. Woo woo! So I just wanted to say thank you for. He's always been giving, always been that that giving back to the community person. And as Daniel has emphasized, a PlayStation Five can make a child's holiday season that much better. Way better. And then I want to also emphasize that the economy is the economy is on a high flying high flying uh, roller coaster where they ended 2021 on a high note with mm. inflation at seven percent. Mm. And by the end of February, inflation has increased to over 7.5%. So I'm just saying thank you, Joe Biden, for helping out the poor like you said you were. Because as people who don't know this, when inflation hits, it, it, it increases the prices of stocks and, and investments. And who benefits from that? The rich. But then inflation also hits consumer goods. And since the rich are already rich, they really don't give a fuck. They're just getting richer. But you know who feels that inflation? The poor. The poor. That's investment. Because when steak goes from $12 to $18, the extra $6 is like, damn, that's a half an hour of work. <laughs> yeah. So I just want to say, yo, Joe Biden, you're, you're, you're fucking killing it, man. Let's keep this inflation going, bro. Can, can we get 8% for Kobe, bro? 8% for Kobe. 8% for Kobe. Let's go, man. Let's 8% go. 8% for Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm done. I just wanted to put those those two things out there. Okay, now, if you're still here, I just want to say we're going to end this video. <laughs> <laughs> but before we end this video, we're going to do this five round thrasta. <laughs> Number one, make sure you guys like this video. Number mm. two, make sure you subscribe. Number three, make sure you hit that bell. Ring a ding ding. Ling a ling get. bing. Up in that jingle king king. Uh, 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 oh, man, it's destroying shit. <laughs> make sure you hit that bell so you get all of our notifications whenever we post. Number four, make sure you share on all social medias. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And we are also on Locals.com. That is in the description. Go ahead and tap in so you hear our Locals exclusives. And it's actually in the description of all our new videos now. Woo woo! Come on. I'm stepping my game up. I'm like, 2022? What? Woo woo! I thought it was still 2020, bro. Woo woo! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you guys also want to chip in and give us any type of financial aid, we will greatly appreciate it. And number five, go ahead and comment on this video below. I ain't gonna lie, you that was serious. That man had a vein coming out of his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> that one was serious, guys. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, that one was serious, guys. But go ahead and comment below on this video. Tell me about how your day or t anything that we talked about. Yeah, bro, we, we talked about a whole bunch of shit. Yes, we did. We talked about enslaving Pokemon. Yes. We talked about Let's Go Brandon. Let's Go Brandon. Yes. 
<laughs> but yeah, but yeah, you know. Other than that, guys, L O P H Kadoodle. What? What? Lit liquor. <laughs> Peace. Just a friendly reminder, guys. Hit the subscribe button in this corner, and then for the newest video. Then for the most recommended, and then for our famous dick pic.